I have an unction from, from above to preach. And so I went and grabbed hold of this uh, pulpit and I felt absolutely nothing. And I said to myself, I said, oh, is it me? And so I, I backed away and, I, and I, I prayed. I said, God, I just want to know, you know, uh, what, what are you thinking? So I went up and I grabbed hold of the pulpit again and I felt absolutely nothing. And, and uh, I, I went home and uh, uh, was talking to uh, my son. And he said, he, said, uh, he said, Dad, it's not big enough. And, and, I, and it brought this thought to my heart of Abraham. When Abraham was, was uh, waiting for Isaac, and he waited 25 years for Isaac. He waited a long time. Say it with me. He waited a long time. And do and, you know he got tired around year 13? He got tired of waiting, and he, he went and tried to do it his own way. Amen? He got himself a son his way. Amen? And the son's name was Ishmael. Okay? And so, so the word of the Lord came to me when, when my son said, Dad, it's not big enough. So, so would, you, would, you, would you go and make an Ishmael uh, and have to deal with the consequences of your Ishmael uh, uh, rather than just wait a little bit for, for your Isaac? See, we need a church that's willing to wait a little bit for Isaac. We're, we, we, we need a church that's not trying to do it in the flesh anymore. We need a church that kind of lets the flesh get away and so we can let God be God. Let God bring some blessing into your life. Let God transform your marriage. Let God transform your heart. Stop trying to do it on your own self-help way. 